Hey, it's Chuck. I'm back here with another iMovie tip here, and I just wanted to show you how to go and edit a clip and actually pick the footage that's the most relevant so you can convey a message and people can be entertained by it and they can say, wow, that was really cool. So it's not just one continuous thing and we're not watching like 20 minutes of, of nothing. So I'm gonna show you real quickly here, just uh, follow along. So here down on this clip here, we're getting on the tilt whirl. So I'm gonna do some uh, establishing shot here. So I'm gonna take my finger here on my track mouse and I'm just gonna drag that. Let me get myself maybe like 4.5 seconds, okay? And there's the plus key. We're gonna hit that plus key, okay? So we've got our first, first clip. Then the second one, that's us waiting to get on the ride, but that's loss of motion. So if you want motion, and continuous motion, just go through here. We're gonna wait till we uh, get going on the ride. I'm gonna go pick myself about 12.3 seconds of footage. Click that. And then, so we're not doing an entire minute on the ride. Then we'll go further in the ride, just scrub through here, see what's going on, and then grab another, say maybe 14 seconds, hit the plus key again, okay? So now if we scroll through this whole thing, we've got our, we've got our established shot. There we go. Now we're on the ride. <laughs> I'm gonna, in the final product, I, I put a uh, music track on this as well. So it totally changes the dynamic of it. Anyhow, I just wanted to show you uh, picking the right amount of footage for your project so that you're not overburdening your viewer with something that just goes on forever, but it just to the point, whether it's four and a half seconds or, you know, 12 to 14 seconds, and you'll they'll get the general consensus of what's going on. So that's it for this video. We'll catch you in the next one.